Let us set up JDK on Windows PC. I am opening Chrome here and searching for download JDK and click on this uh, Oracle's URL. Accept license agreement. It is better to install 8 uh, JDK 8 instead of JDK 9 because uh, many of the technologies are not compatible with uh, JDK 9 yet. Hence, I am setting up JDK 8. And here we need to download 64-bit version, which is the last one here. And we can click on this and it will download. As the download is complete, I can expand this, click on show in folder and then double click here yes and now it is actually installing you just have to uh, perform the typical installation by clicking on next whenever it is prompted Next, now it is installing. Then click on close. Now the installation is done. To validate, we have to launch command prompt and type Java. If uh, the Java usage is coming, then Java is set up. To confirm JDK is also set up, we have to use Java C and hit enter. It is saying Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command. We need both JRE as well as uh, JDK. As of now, it, it only set up JRE but not JDK. So let us uh, set up JDK as well. For that, Okay, I think it is uh, set up JDK only. Probably I might have to set up environment variable called Java home and it might work. Let us see. As the JDK is installed, now I am going to file explorer. And in the file explorer, I am going to this PC, C drive, program files, Java, you can see JDK as well as JRE here. Both JDK and JRE are set up. But due to environment variables, it is only able to recognize JRE but not JDK. If you look at JRE and go to the bin, there will be Java file here, you can see. But there won't be Java C. But if I go to Java and double click on JDK, and go to bin, you will see Java C file here and also Java file. So if I actually update the path pointing to this location, I will be able to open both Java as well as Java C. Both will work if I give this location as part of the path. So the way we need to do is search for environment variables here. Click on environment variables, go to system variables, don't go to user variables. And as there is no Java home here, let's click on new and give the variable name as java underscore home. And then choose the directory where the JDK is available. So it is under this PC, C drive, program files, Java, JDK. Let's mark this as Java Home and click on OK. And then you also need to update the path. Only when path is updated, the, um, the files in bin directory can be accessed from anywhere. Otherwise, I have to give the fully qualified path every time. Okay, to update the path, click on path variable here. 
and uh, we have to add new variable so uh, I am giving new and already we have something called java underscore home so we can give java underscore home here okay and then bin so java underscore home is whatever path it is pointing to it will pick that up and then we are appending bin to it always java home has to be the base directory of our installation which contains the bin directory and then path has to be till the directory where the executables are so in this case the executables are under this location click ok 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 now launch command prompt and type java c version and we uh, we got it working so this uh, concludes the setup of java also let us validate java version as well to make sure both of them are working 